Do you want to be able to create a professional simulator game on Roblox that has codes, areas, trading, and much more in just two clicks? Don't believe me? Well, watch this video as I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it. All right, so the first step in order to do this is to click the link in the pinned comment below, and that will take you to this link right here. This is the simulator generator that we're going to be using. Just click on this button and it will download it for you. Now, once you have the plugin, you can go to the plugins tab and you will see it right here. Create a simulator and generate. But before we can do this, what we need to do is actually save our game. So I'm just going to call this simulator game just like that. And we need to save the game. Now, once our game has been saved, what we need to do is enable data stores. So let's go to the game settings, security, and let's just check all of these boxes because we will need to use all of them. So once you guys have done that, now we can start the magic. So let's go to plugins and click on the generate button. And now you guys will see this nice UI asking you to customize your game. So I'm going to set the type to a clicker. You can choose. The monetization, I mean free money, right? So let's set this to 100, which is the max, and the amount of areas. For this, I'm going to be setting it to 7. Now, once you guys have done that, hit continue, and then hit generate, and the magic will happen. Boom. There you go. So let's zoom out, and as you guys can see, we have a fully made simulator game already built for us now you probably won't believe me so let's just play the game and you guys will see that we made a fully functional simulator game just like that we can do many things we have a settings we can change this up uh, we have rebirths which is awesome we have trading codes and everything that you would want in a simulator game we also have the shop where we can buy uh, any game pass that we'd like and the clicking is working perfectly we can also buy new areas just like this which is super cool also if we come in here you could see we have a leaderboard as well as eggs that we can hatch so let's try to hatch an egg here as you can see animation super cool we can go to the pet and equip our pet and now we're making more clicks, which is awesome. We also have this gem shop where we can get more walk speed and more currency. We also have a Robux egg that we can purchase for 99 Robux. Let's do that. And as you can see, we got a cool little Dominus pet that we can equip just like that. Now, don't go away yet because we're not done customizing the game. There's actually a few things that we need to do, so it is tailored to your needs. The first thing that we need to do is actually change up the Game Pass IDs. So what I want you guys to do is go inside of the replicated storage, go inside of the Game Passes, and as you can see, you'll have a bunch of these. Let me pull up the Properties window, and you'll see these this value which is the game pass ID what I want you guys to do is to create these game passes in your game and then you just want to add them their game pass ID to the value and once you do that you would have completely set up the game passes so anytime someone purchases a game pass the robux goes straight to you and not the creator of the plugin the next thing that we need to do is actually inside of the server script service here, let's first go inside of the admin handler. Here, you want to add in your user ID or any of the admins that you want in your game. You want to put their user ID in here. Make sure you guys do that. Once you guys do that, let's go inside of the codes handler. Here, you can add in any codes that you want. You can change it for currency or diamonds. You could put the amount here. And you can add in a pet. So using code Scarecrow will give you a pumpkin pet. You guys can do that as well. Another really nice thing that you probably don't know is that when you use this in a new game or do it again, it will actually create new areas for you. And I'm actually going to demo that right now. All right, so here I am in a new game. I'm going to do clicker, 
let me set the same settings and continue and generate. And once you guys do this, as you can see, the game is a little bit different. As you guys see in the lobby, like your eggs are in a different place. The UI has been uh, switched and the leaderboards are in a different place. And the game is a little bit different, which adds some variation, which is super cool. Here I have on screen of the before and after and like the two differences between the two games that we just generated. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 